Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony here with Ant's Drone, and in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a very frustrating issue that I've been having with Final Cut Pro. Now, you might be having this issue too, which is why you're here. I have looked up every video on YouTube, and all I can find are old videos about this topic from older versions of Final Cut Pro. It is clearly still an issue today. Basically, what I'm running into is this really annoying and weird glitch. I'm going to open up the video that I exported. So this video is about how to stabilize video clips in Final Cut Pro. This is a tutorial that I've been working on. I've had this issue with numerous projects and I thought I fixed it, but it popped up again. And we're going to try what I did before to fix it. Clearly, that's not a permanent fix, but it is a fix to this problem. So here is the issue that I've been having. I'm going to open this up and we're going to go to the specific part of the video that I'm having issues with so it is right here right there so as you can see I'm getting like this really weird green glitch and it pops up sometimes um, I haven't watched this whole video through so it could have popped up in other areas let's see we'll just scan it here to see if it's an issue So yeah, that seems to be the only problematic area of the video. So there is technically two fixes to this. Either you can cut it out of the video in Final Cut Pro and re-export it, but that is super annoying if you have certain shots and music all lined up, everything's edited together, you just wanna get rid of this issue. So this issue is from rendering, like during rendering it misses part of the clip, I don't know. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're going to locate the render file. This could be stored on your Mac. It could be stored on an external hard drive. It's really wherever the project is. So for me, my projects are on my external drive. The project that I'm working in is Anstrom YouTube 5. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a right click on there and open up show package contents. So when that opens up, you're going to look for the event that you're working in. For me, I'm working in this july 3rd event so we're going to open that up and right here are the render files for this project but now that we've located the render files what we're going to do is we're going to quit final cut pro just quit the whole application make sure it shuts down completely then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the render files and there are three folders high quality media peaks data and thumbnail media so we're gonna go in each of these folders and we're gonna delete everything that's inside of them. There is nothing to worry about. These are just render files. They're basically a waste of space and sometimes they can become corrupt, which is what I think is happening in this situation. So we're just gonna go through and delete them. Now, if you haven't done this in a while, you might have a lot of render files and it might take a while for you to delete them so we're going to move all those to the trash and we went through each folder and did that and now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the trash and we're going to empty it completely so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up final cut pro so what it should do is open up to the library that i was just working with but it might open up one of the other libraries i don't know sometimes it's weird but let's see what happens when we get this going so i see awesome this is the library that we're working with now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to let this render again so you're going to want to click on this circle up here click on rendering and keep track of the progress this could take a little bit so you could you know distract yourself for a little bit and then when this is done we're going to try to export the project again and see if the issue is still happening which hopefully it's not so i'll be right back when this is all done rendering and we're gonna export it and see what happens. Okay guys, so good news. I just played back the video and the issue is gone. I'm gonna fast forward here to the part in the video where we were seeing the issue. Right here is where we were seeing the problem and it was like right toward the end of this clip right there and now the problem is gone. And I just watched the whole thing and the issue is not there. After I was finished filming the screen recording for this video that you're watching right now, on playback of one of my screen recordings for this video, I did notice the green issue and that's not in Final Cut Pro, that's in the QuickTime player. Potentially, this could be a issue with my Mac that I'm gonna have to keep an eye on, but I have noticed that with Final Cut Pro specifically, if you delete those render files, you will find that it'll delete whatever weird glitch or 
your problem is going on so i just wanted to let you guys know that that worked and i just wanted to take the opportunity to make a video about it because i know that there's probably other people out there that are really frustrated dealing with this issue i mean final cut pro is a 300 dollars software on your most likely at least two thousand dollar mac so you want it to work pretty flawlessly when you use it so when running into these problems it's really just a pain and nothing that you really have patience dealing with at least there is a temporary fix to it I noticed that these issues also started happening after the latest update right now I am running let's see so right now I am running version 10.0 15.5 so I just updated my Mac like maybe a week maybe two weeks ago right when I updated there were issues makes me not want to update but I know that updates help with your Mac that's a tough decision to make but I'll probably keep updating my computers because I know it's better for the computer in the long run but I don't like when there's glitches and problems when new updates are introduced I just want a smooth and seamless experience I guess with computers, sometimes you have to be prepared for these things to happen. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I upload tutorials, vlogs, drone videos, all kinds of stuff. I'm looking to grow my community. I really want to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of 2020. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.